It's the name of a show, it's the name of a character in the show, and I play the, I play the character. He's a superhero, and he's a larger-than-life, kind of cartoon kind of superhero in, in a world, in the show, in a world that, is, that has superheroes, that, are, that is a very kind of grounded world, and then I play this... It's like playing a cartoon character inside a, like a real, true-life drama. It's crazy. To do it again is a crazy sort of uh, dream come true, actually. But um, I think because of the time and the place of this and the tremendous support from Amazon and Sony, just like it's, we've got this, uh, this chance to really do something that sort of comes from uh, like a personal vision. And that gives me a, an amazing toy box to play with. And we've just, I've been stunned by the support. One thing that I was actually surprised about is how good I felt after watching it. I think now the world is so saturated with superhero stuff and it's really dark. This actually has some serious ass kicking. Can I say that? Serious ass kicking. Um, but it also just actually makes you feel good and hopeful, which right now I think is very rare. So I think people can expect that. Tick is sort of like the epitome of all things good about superheroes. He is, he's also a toddler, he's also wildly oblivious and incredibly positive, um, and um, he's here to save the city. Arthur is a young man who's racked with guilt and neuroses and mental trauma, and uh, he has some things that the tick doesn't have, namely awareness and uh, sort of strategic thinking and the ability to discern what uh, should be done and what shouldn't be done. And so Arthur and the Tick team up in order to successfully make like one whole human being. It's great. And I can say that hopefully without sounding like I'm uh, being immodest uh, because uh, I think it's an ensemble piece. Like I say, uh, Griffin Newman is like the star of the show and everybody else, there are so many characters in it. It's, a, it's an ensemble piece.